All right, me thinks that uh, we're not going to be as lucky here with uh, Azalea's gym. I just, I just have a feeling that it's not going to go anywhere even close to that easy. So, uh, let's before we head in, let's switch to Miracle. I'd love to level up. I would love to level Lummy up, but I just don't think I can manage it here. All right, let's talk to the guy here. Yo, Challenger! Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge nest of bug type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of bug type Pokemon. There's a lot of redundancy in this dialogue. I'm like noticing this, like now that I'm old enough, I'm like reading all this, and I'm like, what the hell? It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see. Bug type Pokemon don't like fire. Flying type moves are super effective too. Awesome. Who wants to bet that I won't even see a single bug Pokemon here? All right, um, let's take the left spider first. Was it the one I had to take? Yes, it sure was. Well, I want the experience, so I'm going to go after the uh, right trainer here. That's going to be the middle spider first. Okay. You've come all this way, crossing the web like a bug Pokemon. Allow me to teach you the charms of bug Pokemon. <laughs> the charms of redundant dialogue. Cool trainer Mia. Smeargle. Okay, that is not a bug type Pokemon, but... He does paint. He does paint with his tail. I like Smeargle's design. Um, I used to actually run a Smeargle for fun um, back in the day. Uh, doing competitive battles in X and Y. And he, I remember he was such a troll. He had, uh, God, he had Spore. Oh my God, Spore, Destiny Bond. He had a Focus Sash. I would always lead with him. I'd Spore, Shell Smash, Destiny Bond, and then Baton Pass. Oh my God, such a troll. Oh, a Blaziken. Okay, so hopefully this thing doesn't have Speed Boost. Or hopefully just this just one-shots and we don't have to worry about it. Ho, oh. ho. Oh, that was a good time for a crit. That was a real good time for a crit. I'm I have PTSD from Blaziken, Speed Boost Blaziken, so I'm totally cool with just downing one on one hit. Okay, yeah, we're out of here. But yeah, that's Smeargle, man. That was he was such a troll. I also used to run a uh, a set where I would lead with Rotom Wash, and he was choice scarfed. And I had an Espeon in my party. And so when these people would, um, you know, lead off with their trap Pokemon or whatever, they think it'd be safe because it was Rotom Wash. And I would, I, since he's scarfed, I would always go first. So I'd Volt Switch my Espeon and then Magic Bounce and would always bounce the traps back at who I was fighting. Oh, such a, it was so good when that worked. Ugh. Good stuff, good stuff. Bug Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. <laughs> Sorry, I was just watching Yu Gi Oh! Bridge. I have like Weevil stuck in my head. Cool trainer Cristiano. It's an electric. Level 11. I wonder if the levels are kind of random. I haven't figured that out yet. The levels fluctuate really strangely in this. Wild Pokemon seem like they're stuck, like at super low levels. I don't know if that's purposeful because, again, this is like a challenging. This is intended to be like a challenging kind of mod, or ROM rather. So they might have made the wild Pokemon level super low, so that you can't reliably level up outside of trainer battles. Um, but I'm not sure. So like this guy had two level 14s and then a level 18. Swift. I mean, I should give him Swift, though, just so that he can actually um, attack something that, you know, if like if I run into a dark type and I push against the wall, I can at least attack it. Just evolving isn't enough. <laughs> I should have hit the switch. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no, I guess this is okay. Potentially. Is this a double battle? Hey, are you challenging the leader? No way. If you insist, we'll be your opponents. Oh my god, first double battle. I forgot these were even a thing in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. 
Mom and Pa, Bob and Ann. I don't like the... I don't like the... I don't like what that's implying. Mom and Pa? What? No thanks. No, no. No good. No good at all. Hopefully this one shot's Infernape. Okay, good. Actually, wait. Ha ha ha, let's use Swift, let's break it in. Except he won't get a turn, because no boards is faster. Okay, so it looks like I chose right. It looks like I chose right with the rival. That at least at first, or so so far, so far rather, he was leveled much higher than these guys. Mom and Pa, Bob and Ann. Oh goodness, I'm feeling a bit dizzy. I guess they just they just operate different here in Johto. I want to fight the trainer on the right. Oh, so I got I got to like re Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I got to reactivate switches. Okay, jump cut. Okay. <laughs> you saved all the slow poke. Wow, you're mighty. But my grown-up poke about a pretty tough too. <laughs> They're all weevil. Everyone's weevil. That's the theme of this gym. It's not bug types. It's everyone is weevil. Spinda, okay. I have no idea what this thing could have. I feel like I've said that for like every single Pokemon that appears or every other. Ooh, nice crit. And everyone knows. Have you guys noticed? Like, everyone knows Uproar. Spinda, Doduo, um, that Rotom that about wipes one of my guys out in Sprout Tower. It's the weirdest thing. Ah! You move the web with the switch, you'll be- or, sorry. If you move the web with the switch, you'll be able to figure out where the lift is going. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are here. I have healed Neo up. Um, yeah, everyone's at full health. I think this is about the best opportunity we're going to have. Let's do this. I'm going to make, you know what? We've had enough Bugsy, or sorry, enough Weevil. So we're, we'll just make Bugsy normal. <clears throat> I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to Bug-type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the Thorium Bug-type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Malcolm. Engineer Malcolm. <laughs> Oh, it looks like I gambled with the levels. Gambled wrong. thing is Blaze at least kicked in. A Groudon? I, 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 <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how to fight this thing. Um, put it to sleep? Thank God I have thick fat. Thank God I have thick fat. If this Perugly did not have thick fat...
Please stay asleep. It has hammer arm too. Oh my god. Oh my god, it missed again. Yeah, you just keep missing, guy. Please lower his speed. Oh my god, that didn't do shit. Okay, well, if I gotta resort to lowering his accuracy to have a chance, then so be it. If his last Pokemon is like severely like higher level than this, then I'm really gonna be in trouble. Oh, he lowered my speed. That's not good. Well, no, I guess it's okay because he lowered his speed again with Hammer Arm. Okay. Please, you, you feel free to miss any time, guy. This is a this is a this is a major bro moment right here. This guy can't miss. He cannot miss. Oh, it used scary face. Well, that's how kind. How kind of it. Okay, all right, I feel safe enough now to where heal me up full health. Hopefully he misses again, and then I can start chipping away with Bubble Beam. Okay, good. Oh my god, I, I, I like legit, actually, you know, we're going to focus on her, because my ability is Sniper. I, I <laughs> but this thing first popped out, I just... I just straight panicked. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like, this could be... This could, like, ruin the whole run. This could just destroy the whole series. Please crit. Oh my god, there goes Mudshot hitting. Crit or lower his speed, because then I'll be faster than him. Oh my god, crit. Oh, oh the crouton's dead. Okay. <sighs> no, Voltorb. Level 23, okay. I can work with that. Oh god, please don't have a self-destruct. It could 100% have self-destruct, right? Why does it have light screen? No, don't game, please. Oh my God.
Look, a man's got to do what a man's got to do to make it through this, okay? If this is what I have to do to ensure that I don't lose anyone to a friggin' Voltorb, then so be it. Okay. Let's heal up Ryuho, because I'm going to switch to Ryuho next. Light screen wore off. Not that Ryuho really cares about that. Hopefully this thing doesn't have static at its ability. That'd be really obnoxious. Okay. We made it. Oh my god, guys, we made it. <laughs> oh my god. Hang in there just a little more. No, no, Voltorb. No! Malcolm! I swear to God, if this Voltorb has self-destruct or something. Remember, guys, remember remember, remember my, my, my rule of thumb here. Everything that exists could potentially have self-destruct or explosion. If it, if it has it in its move pool at some point, it, do, it definitely 100% has it now. Probably. My God. <sighs> We're done. We're done with this with this gym, this fight. Oh god. Oh. Oh, that's the end of it. Yes, it is. Whoa, amazing! You're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge, bro. You had you had a Grodon. What are you doing here? You have this creature that can, like, quite literally reshape the continent, the world, as it sees fit. And you're just chilling in here under a tree, pretending you like bug Pokemon. Do you know the benefits of the Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle, too. Here, I also want you to have this. TM89 contains U-Turn. It lets your Pokemon attack, then switch to the next Pokemon in your party. Isn't that great? You know, what's, you know what's even better than that, Bugsy? A nice save. Okay, so between the last time I recorded and now I actually doubled back uh, through Union Cave to the Pokemon Center right outside to talk to a fisherman in there to get the old rod. So that'll give me a couple extra opportunities to catch some Pokemon in, like, towns and such. Um, but yeah, so we are now going to go through Ilex Forest. And then I'll probably end the video either after we get through Ilex or um, after we fiddle around in Goldenrod for a little bit. Oh man, my boss is going to be so angry. The Farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they'll face towards you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Seems to face the direction of the noise when you step on a branch. All right. So we'll just circle around. And now I do, or I am eligible to catch another Pokemon. So hopefully it's something good. Yeah, something good indeed. Okay, now I, a quick attack. He would definitely, he would definitely live through a quick attack, right? Okay, good. Let's use one more quick attack. No, no, no. Uh. Oh my god. Okay. Hopefully the Pokeball does it. I don't want to use my one Ultra Ball. Although this is a good candidate for that. Okay. Also, I'm now 100% convinced that the um, ROM that I'm running for this Nuzlocke is blocking um, wild Pokemon's levels to be extraordinarily low. So I can't really f reliably farm experience with Snuzzlocke, so that's that's great. It folds its four legs when flying. Its four brains are said to be superior to a supercomputer. And Metagross has four legs, a.k.a. four feet. So you guys already know where we're going with this one. 
got to be D's. All right, yeah, we just caught a Metagross, so we're going to save. Qua! You snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. Wow, you found a Farfetch. Thank you. But there's one more missing. If you step on a branch, you'll face that way, remember? That's your chance to catch it. Sneak up on it slowly from behind. Dang. A Metagross that... But why, 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 Rom? Why must you do this? Why must you cut so deep? I was so hyped about the Metagross, and then you had to do that. It didn't have to be that way. You didn't have to do that game. Okay, that's the second one. Wow, you got me both of them. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Phew, you saved me. Ah, my far and fetched. You found them for us, kid? Without them, we would be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. And how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. Obtain cut. That's the HM cut. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Be first rate in ten years. Okay, so how close is the egg to being hatched? Oh boy, that's not a good sign. Um, well, I have to have cut to move forward. Um, I guess it's time to take uh, Lummy out of the team here. defense raise a special attack okay yeah that'll work so he can be he can be a dual attacker that's pretty sweet yeah that'll work that'll work great you even add some fresh water Everybody can learn cut. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm tempted to take the egg out of my party. Um, that way, I can just have like an HM slave in that last spot. <sighs> because uh, I'm quite a ways away from the move deleter. I believe the move deleter is in um, the town where the Lake of Rage is, and that's quite a ways off yet. Is it Mahogany Town? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm I'm a ways off, so or that might even be that might even be the nickname guy. I actually can't remember where the move leader is. Um, but regardless, I really don't want to waste a slot any of these characters with cut. Yeah, you know what? I think. Um, Who's going to learn Cut Meowth for sure? Oh, he had Adamant Nature too. That's perfect nature Meowth. Or close to it anyway. I I'd run Adamant Meowth if I was running one. Okay. So yeah, I'll get Meowth Cut. So 
Sweet. Kimono girl, kimono girl, lost and all alone. Poor girl, lost in the dark. Ilex Forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? You will. Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know to get out of here? Wow, are you going to show me how to get out? You are such a smart Pokemon. See you. Good job, Neo. Okay. Okay, we made it out of Ilex Forest. say okay she gave me a TM all right it's taunt all right is it actually taunt though no it's ice beam whoa ice beam all right that's that's pretty legit I'll definitely hold on to that that's good to have I'm actually give that to Kingdra that might be a good thing to give to Kingdra. In fact, you know what? I think I'll do that. Wait, he can't learn it? But Mesprit can? Huh? Okay. Okay, Route 34. We are on a new route, so we can catch something. Okay, new Pokemon, let's see what it's gonna be. Okay, it's a weeping bill and oh my god! Oh my god, look at this level! It's level 12! This is easily the highest level wild Pokemon I've seen so far. It's double the usual amount I've seen. Oh my god, I might be able to actually level my guys up, farm some experience. Maybe this Nuzlocke isn't gonna be absolute hell after all. Okay, the memes are over. Maybe I can actually farm experience now. Oh my god. <laughs> Even though it is filled with acid, it does not melt because it also oozes a protective fluid. That's convenient. Give a nickname, of course. Look at that mouth. There's only one name I can think of that works with that. So appropriate. Okay, let's get ourselves healed up here. Okay, level 11 Cricket's hot. That's strangely under leveled Angus gone. Okay, I was going to say, if that's high level, that could be a problem. But, so far these guys have all been level 12. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I think Gardevoir is still Psychic type at this point. I don't think the Fairy type exists yet. Oh yeah, we have Faint Attack with Riho, that's right. Okay, that should take Gardevoir out. Okay, nice. Oh, it's got my Pokemon back from daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. And the daycare right is up the road, isn't it? So maybe while I'm running around... So maybe while I'm running around um, leveling um, Metagross up, put some in the daycare and get some free EXP while I'm running around. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, it'll work. Nice. Five hundred eighty-two. Wow, schoolboy Wayne. Oh, I guess I was fighting the kid on the back. <laughs> the dad's just like, just there watching his son battle. My, the Pokemon new moves I didn't know it had. That confounded me to no end. Ooh, just a straight one shot. Okay. Grandpa! I remember this. Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as can be. You look fit, too. Hi, Soul! Let me introduce you. This is Soul. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me, Soul. Grandpa's just standing there motionless, not saying a word. Grandma, 
Let me introduce my friend. This is Soul. Aha, <laughs> this is your boy, friend. I see. Hmm. What? Grandma, what are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. Ha ha ha. I know, I know. Since you brought him here, Leroy, you must be sure about his talent. Right, Soul? Come and see us any time. Well, I better go now. See ya. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, see my poke gear number. You know you can talk to your Pokemon as they follow you. They do all sorts of cute stuff on the road and in towns. I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give me a call and I'll share some of them with you. I won't be doing that. Grandma, don't say, don't you say anything. We're both trainers and we are supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. Ah, she's great. I have an idea. I'll give you our numbers. Then you can check on the Pokemon we raised for you. There's the daycare man in the poker gear. And the daycare lady. Call us from time to time when you give us your Pokemon to raise. I'll be happy to have a use for this poker gear my grandchild gave me. Uh, uh, sure. Sure, guy. What's with you? What are you doing? Lady Tia. Walking around, guy. 26. Okay, and it knows Twister, so don't put in Kingdra. Okay, well. You don't have to worry about the night when you're with strong Pokemon. That's right. Nice horsey, by the way. Okay, so before I fight this person, let's heal Mesprit up. Just pop a potion on him. There we go. Okay, this should be the last trainer in this area. So yeah, what I'm going to do, guys, here is do this battle here. Grow into Goldenrod, heal up. Uh, probably grab a bike. I think you can grab the bike right away. Uh, and then I will um, end the episode. So in this episode, we did a lot. We took on the rival, or I think I put that in this episode. I might have put in the prior one. I'm not sure. Uh, we took out Bugsy in a very stressful, stressful battle. Uh, we went through Ilex Forest and then uh, slapped some of these trainers around. It was a good time. <laughs> um, missed out on a Raikou. That was, that was pain. But, you know, hey, we got a Metagross. Metagross is, I'd say a hell of a, I'll have a consolation prize, you know? So, can't really, can't really argue too much with that one. I'm just, personally, I'm just happy to see levels above, like, 5 and 4 and 6. This area, the levels are a bit higher than the prior couple I've seen, so I'm very happy about that. Reversal, that is not going to be used ever, probably. All right, we made it to Goldenrod. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching as always. I appreciate you guys checking this series out and having a lot of fun with it. Um, yeah, next episode we will probably fight Whitney um, after I level up. There is going to be some leveling up happening uh, in between then for sure because if... Bugsy's highest was 26, then I'm thinking Whitney's highest is probably going to be at least 30, if not a little bit higher than that. And my Pokemon being at 23 across the board, that's just not going to cut it. So yeah, we're going to have to do some power leveling here. Uh, but yeah, so until the next episode, everyone, please take care of yourselves. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys again here very soon. Take care.